Want to know how to create and deploy content types across your whole environment? We're covering that in today's video. Stay until the end for a huge tip that you don't want to miss. Let's get into it. Continuing in this process, we're talking about publishing content types for all your sites to use. Let's use a corporate PowerPoint template as an example. We're going to create a content type that will house a branded PowerPoint template. This could apply to many situations though, like a sales quote template. To start, we're going to go into the SharePoint Admin Center. Under Content Services, you will find the Content Type Gallery. Now this is where all the content types are defined which are available to all sites in the template. So let's create the new content type. We've seen this form before so I won't explain all the options. Uh, to see a more in-depth guide to this process, check out the second video in this series. For now, I'm going to create Corporate Presentation. We'll make this based on document. Okay, now that that's created, let's add our custom template. So for that, we'll go up to settings and advanced settings. And let's upload our template. All finished, uh, but now we need to publish this so it's available for all the sites to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We go up to publish and the only option is publish. So we click save. And now that it's published, we can go to the site we've been working on and apply it to a library. So we'll go to site contents and we have the documents library here. Uh, I think this will be fine to use. So let's add a content type to this. And we enable that in advanced settings. And then if we go to add existing content types, there's our corporate presentation. So we click on add. And let's test it to make sure it works. Icons looking good already. Let's see how it works. And that's all there really is to it. Um, you could add this to sites as needed or incorporate it into a PNP template to add it with PowerShell. Um, so let's say you've got a content type published uh, and now you need to update that template. Uh, maybe there's been a rebranding. So here's how you do that. So we're going to go back to the admin center where our, our content type lives. Um, and we're going to update it here. So we can go back to advanced settings. And we're just going to upload a new one. And I've got a slightly rebranded version of that template. So we've saved that change, but now we need to republish this content type. So under publish, we have the option to republish uh, since we've made changes. Uh, you could have added uh, fields, um, you know, uh, pretty much anything you would normally do to a content type. You could do at this point, but it'll still be required to republish this. So we're going to click save. So now we republish the content type, uh, but there is another step that's needed. You're going to need to pull that content type from all your sites. You could probably script this with PowerShell, but this is how Microsoft currently recommends performing this update. So if we go to the site that's using our content type, we're going to go into site settings. And we're going to go under site collection administration to content type publishing. And from here, you could see any content types that this is currently used that were that were published from the uh, content type gallery in SharePoint Admin. Here we see that we've got our one content type. What we're going to need to do is put a check here and refresh all published content types on next update and then click OK. What this is going to do is that there's a timer job that's running on the tenant. Uh, I believe it runs every four hours. 
The next time that job runs, it's going to refresh the content type on this site. So the update should have finished by now, and let's see if the new template's showing up. Yep, and there's the new template that was pushed for, uh, into the content type hub and pulled from this site, and that's all there really is to it. For the bonus tip, I'm going to show you what you can do with these content types once you've got them deployed. We're going to go into Library Settings, and we're going to click on Corporate Presentation. If you look in the URL, you'll see the content type ID for this content type and this library. If you wanted to find all the content through search that's in this library matching that content type, you could simply search using that ID in a KQL statement. Now, if you wanted to find all the corporate presentations in your environment, regardless of what library they're in, you don't use this content type ID since this is scoped specifically for this library. Instead, you go to the SharePoint Admin Center where we have our corporate presentation content type defined. We're going to click on the content type and you'll see this content type ID. Notice how the first part is identical to what we have in our library. That's how SharePoint builds out the content type IDs. So using these IDs, you could search your entire environment based off of this, or you could search a particular site based off of this. And that's how you unleash the power of SharePoint search and content types. If you get value from this video, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.